with the announcement that CP's acquisition of Kansas City Southern Railway and their new logo, there has been a lot of discussion about the CP takeover of Kansas City Southern. And whether you like it or not, it's a done deal. There is a lot of speculation as to what the new logo and the trains are going to look like once they get repainted. CP has insisted that they will remain the CP Red and it will have that beaver logo that I just showed you on them. But this is going to be many years down the road. Nothing is going to change anytime soon. Other than possibly a sticker or a patch on the front of the nose and the sides of the unit. In the meantime, we will likely see a lot of KCS units in their color up in Canada, which will be great for us rail fans in the area. Here is a little bit of a surprise. We have just a simple power move of two locomotives, an SD60 and an SD40.
In other news, on April 15th, 2023, County yesterday, they sent three people to the hospital. Canadian Pacific Railway says one of their trains derailed in Sandwich Academy Grant Township, just north of Rockwood, just before nine yesterday, and caught fire. Three locomotives and six cars carrying lumber and electrical wiring derailed because of track washout caused by a buildup of melting ice and debris. The derailment started a small forest fire, which is contained and being monitored. Officials say there were hazardous materials on the train, but those cars did not derail. Three railroad employees were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Some locals that live in the area heard the train derail and rushed to the crew's rescue on their skidoos. They brought the crew to safety. It really is a miracle the crew made it out without major injuries. Sadly, reports are that 7011 was completely destroyed in the fire and is not salvageable. The other SD70 ACU 7005 may have also been a write-off, and as well the GE.